So my son Roman snowboard is too small for him and it's time to upgrade it. So we got this new little Volcom snowboard that looks super rad for him. I'm excited and we are going to set him up on this board. And I thought what a great video to show you guys how to set up a kid's snowboard so they can go out and have the sickest time on the mountain. So first things first, we got to take the bindings off of his old board. Now these are actually old rental bindings that still fit him, which is rad. The rental shop was like going out of business or whatever. So I got them super cheap. So if you buy yours from straight from like a retailer, they're going to be slightly different design than this so don't worry too much about that of the design of the binding it's really these holes that we'll be talking about and making sure that are in the proper spot okay so dad's gonna go get uh some more screws real quick what i want you to do is unscrew it so you're gonna twist it this way this way okay. get this one off you got that one off you don't do all right, so there's your old board, Roman dog. Oh, this board's got to go to Sissy, right? No, she wants pink boards. So this one will be yours hanging on the wall. When you're older, you're going to want this, at least if you're a hoarder like me. All right, so when you first get a new snowboard, removing stickers is ideal. So all the, especially the ones on the base, you want to get these off of your board. If you're wondering what profile this board is, it's a flat profile and then it rockers at the nose. I think flat profiles are the best for learning to get become like from beginner to intermediate. Flat profile is the, the way to go. I got Let's go, dude. Sometimes when you remove stickers, you might need to use a hair dryer to warm up the sticker to remove it. It's a little, a little hack. <laughs> Now for little kids, you don't have to wax the board right when you get it. But in general, if you get a new snowboard, it is nice to wax it right off the bat, even before you put the bindings on, wax without your bindings on. That's just like best practice. You don't have to do it. They come with the factory wax, but it is nice to put some wax on it. And Roman loves to wax his board, right? Right. So uh, we're gonna wax it. And wax it help you ride better. Now I have a bunch of how to wax videos. I'll throw one of them up in the corner right there. But if you need anything for wax, I have all that stuff linked in the description as well as all of Roman's gear, all of my gear. Our iron was too hot. Remember not to leave it in one spot for too long. So circle motions. I'm gonna spread the wax around. Good job, dude. Can you do it? Dude, you're gonna go so fast. How? because it's a bigger board. I'm going to slow down and stop really fast. With your skills. Like, right? We've learned how to do that stuff. Oh, We've that, learned how to stop, right? Me. But how am I going to stop like going really fast and how am I going to stop? Using your toe side and your heel side stops. I having trouble with toe side. Every time I try to toe stop, I just fall on my toe. So while we let this dry, or cool off before we scrape it. Let's talk about binding angles and how to set up your kid's bind. This is the whole reason why we're here, bindings. Let's set these things up. You wanna come hang out, sissy? Yeah. So the first thing that's important is the distance your kid's legs need to be. So I had Roman previously stand on the board, kind of do some squats to kind of see how far is too spread out for his little legs. And so he's, because this board's a little big for him, he's definitely these first holes is where we're gonna want to screw him in. Now, once again, depending on the bindings that you gotta do, you could set the angles immediately while you're putting in the holes, or right now I just gotta put the holes in and I'll do the angles in a second. So I gotta pick the closest holes to the center for his little legs. That's gonna give him the most powerful position for him and he'll just have a big nose and tail while he continues to grow and as he gets older we'll just kind of spread that further out So once I got my distance settled in, I need to talk about his angles. How positive do we want his front foot? How positive or negative or at zero do we want his back foot? And a lot of that's gonna depend on your kid's ability level, where they're at with their riding. So first things first, this is the nose of the snowboard. This is the tail of the snowboard. That's important if you get a directional shape board. This is a twin shape. So technically we could accidentally make this the nose and it's gonna ride the same. But I know Roman is a regular snowboarder. So his left foot is gonna be this foot right here, which is this binding right 
right here. So normally if your kid is snowboarding one direction and making S turns, which is rad, they're probably not gonna be working on switch snowboarding anytime soon. So you would wanna have that back foot maybe at like a zero position or like a three, like a negative three position. But Roman's still currently kind of falling leafing. So he ends up, even though he's clearly a regular rider, having to ride switch a little bit because he kind of is falling leafing as we work on his toe side. So I am going to set him up with a positive six and a negative six stance so he can go regular or switch. Now, as Roman gets better at snowboarding and dials in his toe side turns, I'll probably bring that back foot into like a, a negative three because I know he's going to be riding just straight directional going forward for a while until he gets better and starts doing some switch snowboarding. Is all of this making sense? Yeah. Cool. Now, a couple important things before you put the bindings on. The straps go on the outside. So if you had the strap on the inside of his legs, you put the binding on the wrong way. Straps go on the outside of the binding. So now I said I was gonna put him at 6'6". Six, six. I ended up putting him at 12'12", 12, 12 because it's a bigger board. I think he's gonna need to be a little bit more open on the front. But the biggest things when once again setting up your kids bindings is what direction are they snowboarding? How are they snowboarding? Are they falling leafing? Are they just learning? You know, you don't need to have them super ducked in the front and straight in the back unless they are doing S turns pretty confidently and going down the run straight directional. But I do believe every snowboarder should be riding some switch. So I do think unless you're on a directional board, not having your foot at zero, it does help to have it slightly ducked a little bit in the back foot. So if you go switch at all. Okay. Now that we got the bindings on though, it's time to do the most important thing. What do you think that is, dude? Um, I don't know. Sticker time. Roman went and picked out a couple of his favorite stickers that he has. We got the Roman Lego block sticker. We got the glow in the dark sticker, the wiggle wiggle sticker. Yes. Sticker. And so when your kid has a snowboard, I think it's important to let them throw stickers on it, let them slap them up, make it the way they want their board. And Roman has his sticker. So if you get the Lego, the slap sticker, the wiggle wiggle, all of that money goes to his college fund. I also have a female version of the block sticker or like a different colored version for my daughter who also is snowboarding, which is super rad. And so Roman, where do you want to put your stickers, dude? I think I want to put this one way here. Oh, one sticker down. I think the glow in the dark should go in the dark area. Let's do it like this. Like that? With these kind of stickers, they are really hard to put on your anything. Yeah, that's why dad has a whole video on how to put on the evolution stickers. It's amazing how many people actually do struggle with it. So I made a whole tutorial video on how to slap my sticker on your guys' boards or gear. If you're interested, when you buy it, I send you the video. So look out for that video, watch it. So you put your stickers on the right way and that way they last on your gear or your car or wherever you put the stickers the longest. But if you do them wrong, they go to last a little bit, not longer. Yeah. That looks good, dude. Yeah. Where do you want your wiggle wiggle sticker? Maybe right there. Should we put this on your nose? Yeah. Okay, I'll put this one on the nose, you do the wiggle wiggle. And how you like it. Ooh, I think that's sick, dude. Dude, I think you did a killer job slapping stickers on your snowboard, man. I'm proud of you. So the last thing we need to do is just remove this wax on the base, which is like the worst thing ever. So here you go, you do it. Close, you gotta ink and be flat. You get long pieces of it. Ah, right, here, Dad will do it for you. Bye, my birdies. Bye. Bye. The dudes at XC Man sent me this new rotary brush, which is smaller than the one that I got from Pearl, so I'm excited to try this out. And this just kind of buffs out the remainder wax and creates really good channels for water that melts to kind of get past, you know, the board. It helps you go faster. Not necessary, super cool. And there you have it. Roman snowboard is fully set up. Hold it real quick, see how heavy it is. Oh, I cannot carry this. So much heavier than your last one? Yeah. So if you have any other questions about setting up your kids gear, just comment them down below. I'll do my best to answer those for you. And I hope this video helped you guys get your little shredders out on the mountain. But with all that being said, thank you so much for shredding with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow. Another video. It's daily on this channel. We do stuff like this daily.